movement. Notebook contains Stilton's combination. Mr. Stilton returns home. I want to beat out the rugs, but the dust makes him cough. <laughs> she said that the donations would go straight to the needy families of the miners, but she spent it all on gin slings. People don't hide their faces unless they're up to something bad. I hope it's not like that. I can't do <laughs> anything. What do you want? Go away! You better run. My neck. Who's there? I think I heard something. speaks for them. is seeping into the present, or vice versa. It's time to begin. Where's Stilton? I should never have kept him on just because he and my father were close. What we're about to attempt has never been done. It's beyond my understanding, and certainly beyond yours. If anyone has any doubts, set them aside now. 
This defies rational understanding. It's the frayed edge where natural philosophy crosses over into something else. Yes, I can feel it. We risk madness. All of you, Delilah is your rightful empress. You owe her this. Delilah's stronger than before. The Duke and I have heard her voice whispering to us. And now it's time. So take your positions. abandon you. Wait. You are hidden, but I know who you are. I know when you are. You've come to watch me return, and someday I'll come for you. The void beyond the world is strange. I won't ever understand all I've seen. By the star. This is more exciting than any orgy I've ever attended. Do it now!
blood ran out. And I became a god. Now you know Delilah's secret. At the end of her days, she drifted to the void and should have been lost forever. But her will and cunning are second to none. She found this place. The island in the void where I became what I am. It changed her. And she discovered a way to draw from it. Tapping into the power here. Delilah is... a part of me now. And I don't like it. You have to give Delilah credit. She tore out a piece of herself and hid it away. Inside a thing made of bones. She's made herself immortal. If you want to kill Delilah, you're going to have to find her spirit and give it back to her. Reaching it won't be easy, but what comes after that might be the hardest thing you will ever have to do. The world contains more mysteries than I imagined. Now to meet up with Sokolov again at the skiff, after a very strange day. Why'd they slow down floor four? Did not say? Apparently the family committee made a request. Too much dust was pissing down. Maybe no one else will even notice. The things have changed here. For the better. The few who get what's coming to him make it leaders. You're back. That was quick. Are you ready to leave? <clears throat> the dust is wreaking havoc on my throat. Yes, I paid a visit to Paolo and the Howlers. At least I think I did. And I've been to Stilton's house. We can go. Duke Luca Abel tore down the original palace in Karnaka, his birthplace, in order to build a lavish structure that cost enough to feed everyone in Circonos for years. It's said to be a sprawling estate to humble all others, a monument to his ego and sense of princely entitlement. But whatever the Duke has done to his nation happened while I was Empress. In Dunwall, we were content to look the other way as long as the silver kept flowing. I've got to get inside the Grand Palace, deal with the Duke, and find a way to steal Delilah's soul.
this long for someone to go after the Duke. Another aristocratic boss living in a palace and sucking marrow out of the same people who built it. Yeah. I regret my affiliation with Don Shuri, but his father died close. It was my hope that Luca would eventually grow up and learn that his actions as ruler of Sirkonos have very real consequences. <laughs> He could always count on the backing of Dunwall's finances and maybe, maybe without that. Are you ready for this? I've been inside a dozen castles and a hundred mansions, and they're the same everywhere. The Duke's palace can't be anything worse than Lady Brisby's social afternoons. Getting inside might not be the hard part. The Duke doesn't exactly run a tight ship. Taking down Duke Abel is only part of the puzzle. You've also got to find whatever it is he's keeping for Delilah. You were cryptic about what you gleaned from visiting the Dust District, which is fine. The world is better with a hint of mystery. But once you're inside the Grand Palace, whatever you do could affect things in Karnaka for years to come. Remember that. I've got a map of the Grand Palace for you, and I know something that may be useful. There's a hidden lever in the pantry that opens a passage to the Duke's vault. If he's keeping anything precious for Delilah, I suspect that's where it'll be. Beyond that, good hunting. I'll see what I can do. I know things in Karnaka are fragile, and I've got a lot to think about after all this is done. Should we head toward the palace? Ready. At the palace, the Duke has a lookalike body double, meant to confuse assassins. A friend of mine washes the linens and said the double is a smoker, if that helps. Maybe you can talk to him. She says he's a nice guy. What a shitty job, pretending to be a tyrant like Duke Luca Abel. It's remarkable that people tolerate the Duke. He's got an army, control of the mines, and he's had your support from the capital. At the Duke's parties, people carve up the country while eating boiled crab. There were parties like that in Dunwall, full of toadies sucking up to me, stabbing each other in the back. Poor Empress. I could see those party lights from the roof of the abandoned butcher shop where I slept. In the flooded district. I know you grew up hard, Megan. I used to wander Dunwall with my face hidden. But when I got tired of it, I could always go back to the tower. Karnaka's given me perspective. Good. After you've eliminated the Duke, find what he's holding for Delilah and take it. When you're finished, I'll pick you up in the skiff. Sometimes I think she's caught on purpose. The guy that runs her shop is nervous. 
But I think Chesler is moving straight off the boat. I got a friend over at the shop. They run in protection. Should have relocated, sir. There are three ridiculous <sighs> degrees a week. <sighs> The Duke's given the Grand Guard leeway to create new fees when needed. You know who else had a nice shop? That clockmaker. Serafina. Her shop burned down. Yeah, my report said it was probably the Howlers. But no one knows how the fire started. Hmm. Hmm. Anyone here? Hmm? Show yourself. Anybody? 
Don't maybe search the whole place. I don't have time for that. This Somebody's down! Oh, 